Hey everybody, this is John Bradley from beautiful Chester County, Pennsylvania. And on behalf of Magnificent Mike and Mighty Melissa, I welcome you all to another episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. Welcome back everyone, Mike and Melissa here. We are out here in the woods this evening. And if you remember just the other day, I took down a cherry tree down here. Well, we're gonna clean that up. I put the uh, firewood bucket on the RK55. So I just have a little bit left here, but uh, it is cold. Yes. It is, and, uh, but it looks like later this week, it's gonna warm up again. So what we're trying to do is get as much uh, wood into the yard as we can. Uh, Melissa had a proposal today. Do you want to tell them about your proposal? What we, what right. she wants to do with the firewood money? Yeah. So I think I should get a percentage of all the firewood that's sold. A hundred percent she wants. We can negotiate. Down and tell them what you want to buy with it. A swimming pool. She wants to buy a swimming pool with firewood money. Now that is going to be a lot of firewood to cut and split and sell to buy a swimming pool. But I guess you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Keep busy, Mike. Keep so busy. what you could start splitting during I'd the day. Shooting down my dreams. You could split during the day when I'm at work yeah, or whatever. I can. And uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, see, right. we'll see how it goes. But it's not a good idea. Yeah, it used to be 50-50 split. Now it looks like it's a hundred percent goes to the Mike, swimming pool fund. Listen, I will let you swim in it. So let you me want. swim in it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we better get started because it is going to get dark soon. Okay. I got a little bit more cutting to do. We'll clean this one up. Okay. And, uh, you do that, and then I brought down a couple things I want to show you. Okay. Okay. I want to show you some things I got for my birthday. This is a mini cabin, handmade, with a golden retriever, and firewood, and the axe, and one of our chickens running around back. It's so great. My friend Rachel made this and she customizes these and I'm going to put a link in the video so you can check out her customized. She does signs and little houses like this and this mini cabin 
is so great. We love it, Rachel. Thank you so much. It is really nice. Yeah. And this is just perfect. Mike was saying he needs some things to decorate his mini cabin. And I'm like, well, I want to keep this in the house. But I don't know. We might decorate it out in the mini cabin. It's a mini cabin in the mini cabin. So I will put Rachel's store uh, link in the description. You can check out her stuff. And How then, long have you known Rachel? Oh, gosh. I've known Rachel 20 years. Yeah. Good friend. We go to church together. Our kids grew up together. Um, it's just, she's just a great friend, I what honestly can say. There? I also got a birdhouse, and um, it, the whole box came with, I just love this. We need birdhouses, and I've mentioned that before. I'm starting to get into the bird business of just feeding them, and it's a business, trust me. But um, I love this birdhouse. Thank you so much. John also sent uh, some stuff for Hunter and some stuff for Mike, the whole family. So we really appreciate it. That was nice to open up a box of treats. But um, I love the birdhouse. Thanks, John. And this is a bowl I want to share with you. This came from um, Mr. Peterson. I want to say Dave Peterson. I'm not 100% sure on his first name. Yeah, you um, have to check when you get back yeah. up. Yeah. But this is beautiful. Check this out. Now he's from uh, Utah, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Peterson from South Jordan, Utah. Look at this. It is beautiful. That is really nice. And we're not exactly sure what wood this is. No, we're only familiar with stuff here in the east. Yeah. So I'm, but I'm, look at this. It's just maybe so Maybe one great. of you guys know what that's made out of, but uh, we don't have that kind of wood here, whatever it is. Mm -mm. Isn't that, that I know of. But this, I, actually, I think if you look at this long enough, it looks like a face. <laughs> that is really nice. I love it. Thank you so much. That is so kind. He actually has the same birthday as I do. So we share the birthday. Happy birthday. And uh, thank you so much um, for sending me this bowl. I love it. And it's going to go on my table and uh, part of our dec decorating in the Morgan household. Very nice.
Want to get right off the stress that feels within me. Oh, I want to take off my clothes and hang from a tree. Oh, one day soon I will find I know I am close. I know I will shine. Feeling alive, take me back to the jungle. Take me back to the jungle. Take Almost has a uh, story to share with you. Yeah. So I, um, I have a hair appointment tomorrow, which reminds me to tell you this story. So I found this spray stuff you use to cover your gray. Because you are 50 now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm welcoming it, you know. So I ordered this stuff and you hold it so far away and you can spray your roots and it just, your gray roots, it just gives you a little bit of time, maybe like a week or two, not even, to just, and then you eventually have to go get your roots done. Let me tell you, so I'm, I go back to the gym now. I come home from the gym and I get Hunter ready and I drop him off and do a couple things. I uh, come home and get a shower and I get out of the shower and my left ear is black and blue, like the whole thing. And I'm like, oh, I'm putting it in the mirror and I'm looking I'm like, oh my goodness, like it doesn't hurt. So I'm very delicate with it. So I'm immediately Googling like, why would your ear be black and blue? And uh, there was different things about, you know, circulation or this or that, you know, I'm like, I don't know, I feel fine. So what I should have done in the first place, in case you're all, you should all be laughing by now, is I start to rub it, like it doesn't hurt. And then I see that it's coming off. It was the hair stuff. And it was the hair spray <laughs> root stuff that obviously got on my ear. I have no idea what I look like at the gym. No one said anything. It had to have been like a dark brown is my guess because then, when I took a shower, it must, I didn't wash my ear, I guess. So it just rinsed it a little to make it look grayish, blacky, bluish. Is that hilarious or what? So, whew, well, I don't have Well, tomorrow you get the roots done, right? You're doing, or what are they doing? You're getting a yeah. haircut and everything. I'm getting my hair trimmed and uh, the roots done and maybe a couple highlights is what she does. But, whew, the good news is there's nothing wrong with me other than I'm crazy. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. I know a lot of you are out there. You know, comment, introduce yourself. You'll meet others that have been here for a while. We really appreciate and welcome. And uh, if you haven't, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to be a part of the Outdoors with the Morgans. And we'd like to thank everybody that's sending in the video intros. Those are working out great. And uh, so just as a reminder, hit, hit the like button, the subscribe, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and share them with your friends. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.